Some people still don't understand why Nigerians living in the diaspora invest in Nigeria. According to them, okay, now you've escaped from the country, you live in a Western country where everything works. Why don't you invest there? In this video, I'll share with you the genuine reasons, the Obonge reasons, why Nigerians living in the diaspora invest in Nigeria. <music> to invest in Nigeria comes from within and once that bug bites you, you start running kitty kitty kata kata looking for information that will help you achieve your aim of investing in Nigeria. If that's how you found this channel, welcome, you've come to the right place. This is a community of people that want to invest in Nigeria. Here, we discuss money matters that concern us as Nigerians. It doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have interest in investing in Nigeria, come on in, say hello below, so that we can welcome you officially. Here, we have meaningful conversations, we fight, we argue, we kiss and make up, investments continue. Please watch the video till the end and feel free to leave your opinions below. I'm sure that there are other reasons that fall into this context that I'm not aware of. The first genuine reason why Nigerians in the diaspora invest in Nigeria is because we still have our family members back home. We still need to take care of them. When you send money to Nigeria towards the education of a child, you are investing in that child. You are investing in the country. Education is still one of the major millennium and sustainable development goals for all developing nations. When you send money to Nigeria so that somebody can go to the hospital for any reason, you are investing in the health of that person. You are investing in that country because one, health is wealth. And two, the owner of that hospital would earn some money the person would not have earned if the sick person stayed at home praying to get better because there was no money to go to the hospital. From that money end, the owner of the hospital will be able to employ more doctors, nurses and casual workers from cleaners to security personnel. His employees will in turn be able to afford and pay for other goods and services offered by other person. The cycle continues. The economy of the country improves. Everybody is happy. You yourself that is investing in all these people, you are happy. You have peace of mind that their needs are taken care of. Win-win for everyone. One company that is working so hard to ensure that you have a seamless experience catering to the needs of your loved ones back home is Cowrie Crowd. On cowriecrowd.com, you can order groceries. I tell you, there's no Nigerian food ingredient that is not on this website. Look at all of them. Their grocery section is well stocked. I recently purchased some food items for people in Nigeria and they received them in no time in Lagos, Nigeria. You can also purchase groceries and send to people in Port Harcourt, Abuja and Ibado. I was able to purchase tokens for prepaid meters from the comfort of my home here in Spain and receive the token in my email instantly. My people, this is the first ever products and services remittance platform in Nigeria. So now, instead of sending money to Nigeria, and you keep wondering whether the money you sent was used for the purpose for which it was sent, you know, they tell you, we need 100,000 to do this, or maybe they, you know, <laughs> use 50 instead of 100. Now you can do everything from the comfort of your own home, your office, or even while you're on vacation in another part of the world away from your normal place of residence. All you need is an internet connection. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. And the good thing is that you don't need a Nigerian bank account to pay for all these. All you need is the card issued where you live. That one you use for online shopping. <laughs> They also accept PayPal and Amazon Pay. Opening an account with Cowrie Crowd is super easy. In one minute max, you've created an account, verified it, and you are shopping on the site immediately. Another service on Cowrie Crowd you will appreciate so much is their health insurance service. You can sign up for health insurance for your loved ones in Nigeria. There are different healthcare plans to choose from. You have family, 
individuals and the one for our senior citizens with over 2,000 hospitals in their network. Men, you can pay medical bills directly to the hospitals. You can order in-home diagnostic tests in 13 states of Nigeria. You can pay for school fees via their website. That way, you're sure you're paying the correct fees to the correct institution. No stories, no nzama. You're sure that nobody is telling you, I want to buy stone and I want to buy cousin. If you know this story, let me know below. <laughs> My people, this is a one-stop website for all settlements for home people that gives you absolute control. I tell you, I felt like I had superpowers when I was shopping on Kauri Crowd website. It must be some kind of superpower to be able to press buttons on their website from thousands of miles away from Nigeria and things were happening in Nigeria. The people I sent food stuff to, they were like, what did you say this is about again? Where did all these things come from? Like they were shocked that was able to do this from so far away from home. Want to feel like a superhero? Head over to kaurikrow.com and start shopping for home people. Use my promo code FLOW at checkout to get 5% off all orders placed on Cowry Crowd website in the next two weeks. Link will be below. And don't forget to come back here with your testimony, you know, about your experience on there. You know how we do on this channel. The second genuine reason why Nigerians in the diaspora invest in Nigeria is because they are patriotic like that. They want the best for the country. So they are always on the lookout for people that they will invest in their businesses. These people are not even asking for return on investment. They just want to invest in people's lives so that they can help themselves because they know that an idle man or woman is a devil's workshop. Some of these people are not even Nigerians. I can't count the number of people that landed on my other channel just because they were searching for a meal that was described in maybe Chimamanda Adichie's book or Chinua Achebe's book. They search for the meal, landed on my other channel, and continued to watch because of the culture. Even some Nigerians that don't even have any plans of retiring to Nigeria, they still want the best for the country. They know that these small and medium scale enterprises are the engine of any economy. So they find people, they say, I want to invest in this person's life. Please, what do I need to do? You've seen people contribute to people's education online, people they don't even know. This is the kind of investment that comes from patriotism not because of personal gains. By so doing, the economy of Nigeria is growing, the private sector is thriving, and they feel fulfilled. If you don't know it before now, yes, some people can invest in a place just because it makes them feel fulfilled, not because they're looking for capital gains. The third reason why Nigerians in the diaspora invest in Nigeria is because they want an investment that will be generating enjoyment money, bowling money for them in Nigeria. That means whenever they want to go to Nigeria, they don't want to think about the money that they will spend in Nigeria. They just book their flights and piam, die in Nigeria. You know how it is, where we live, we use majority of our income to pay for things. Sometimes we even dip our hands in our savings account to settle emergency bills. But because this kind of income generated in far away Nigeria is beyond our reach, kind of, we normally don't touch it. So. When adulting, you know, when our head is about to explode from adulting, walk, 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 you just wake up one day. I want my mommy and my daddy. Enough of this adulting. <laughs> you just book your flight and piam, you're in Nigeria because you know that the money that you spend is down there. If you watch up to this point, I'm sure you're enjoying the video. Come on, click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. The fourth reason why some Nigerians living in the diaspora invest in Nigeria is because, wait for it, it's actually a big one. They want to retire to Nigeria. Yay! So this group of people are slowly investing in Nigeria, putting things in place for when they eventually retire. Believe it or not, now I'm talking to those who can't wrap their head around the fact that somebody wants to retire to Nigeria in spite of the direction the country is going. You can call it moving back to Nigeria to go and die. You can give it any name you want, but these people are in their millions. It's a personal choice and you can't make them change their minds. This is a life plan that makes them happy. Some people have Tete checked out of living abroad. They're already tired. If not for the direction our leadership is going, some people would have retired to Nigeria since. Sometimes when I say this on this channel, based on the comments I read on here, 
the emails people sent to me and my chats uh, with people via Zoom, some people think that I'm making it up. So please, if you're in the group of people that must retire to Nigeria, no matter what, please, can you let us know below so that it doesn't feel like I'm <laughs> making this up. <laughs> These are human beings that are watching this channel telling me all this. So these people exist there are plenty when you're investing in nigeria for these genuine reasons you'll feel fulfilled you'll be happy you will never come here crying that oh the naira is sinking nigeria is disintegrating this and that you always be looking for opportunities to invest in nigeria don't forget to go shopping for your people back home on cowrycrowd.com let's continue the conversation below why do you invest in nigeria let me know below i'll be in the comments